Okay, so this is going to be just a quick tutorial on how to start a poll. I think the most important thing with the poll is that you have to be prepared in the presentation beforehand. So what I'm going to do is I have my presentation uploaded here and I'm going to move through to a slide that I've already prepared for the purposes of polling. So I'll show you what I mean here. Okay, so here's a slide for example where I posed a question to the students and then I have these possible answers in this multiple choice format. This is something that you have to prepare beforehand. Um, when you go to start a poll, you're going to pull this uh, plus button here and you'll see it's the same place you would go to initially upload your presentation. But this time you're just going to click start a poll and then up here in the left are your options. Okay, so it's probably a good idea to be familiar with the um, preloaded options that they have here, true, false, yes, no, and then of course your multiple choice um, answers. So because I have five options here, I'm gonna click A, B, C, D. So as an example, I have Mike in the conference here. If you were running a real class, it would give you under users, it would give you this list of all of the students, which is kind of nice. And then as their results come in, you as the teacher are going to see all of um, their answers pop up here. So you can see like Mike chose A. Um, it's interesting if you have a class um, with a large number of students, you can see the distribution of their choice. And then on the bottom here, it'll show you each student's name. So during the conference, you know, you can say, okay, I have an answer for Mike, I have an answer from Susie, you know, waiting on John, um, those kinds of things. Now, the students don't see this, um, these results until you publish. So now, if you go to publish polling results, they'll show up on the left here. Um, sorry, I have my screen recorder cut off. Um, but you'll, they'll show up on the left here, and then your students can see how everybody did. So I hope that that was helpful to get you um, to start to use a poll. Again, I think the most important thing is to have your presentation prepared for polling because the only thing polling will do is it'll give the students the option of A through E or true or false, but there's nowhere to type in the question. Okay, um, let us know if you have any questions. We're happy to help.